YouTube, what's going on? East Kicks and Topics and Reviews. Back with another topic slash, yeah, topic video. Um, but first, if you're new to the channel, subscribe, like, comment, bell. Road to 80 subscribers, long go, 100 subscribers. Greatly appreciate it. So, I wasn't going to do it, but a lot of people been asking for it, or certain people, I should say, about this Draymond video surfacing for TMZ, uh, punching his teammate Jordan Poole. My thoughts is, if you play any type of sports, you know that regardless if it's, uh, um, I can't even think of the word, um, you in a, a league, uh, or you just playing regular sports out in the streets or whatever, just mainly basketball. If you in the, if you in the AAs or triple A, uh, not triple A, but the A basketball games or just a street pickup game or whatever, you get in altercations with your teammates sometime. But in this case, it's about the setting of practice. So, you know, if you playing in that type of thing, you played in real basketball, um, you know you get into fights and stuff, which I know about regardless, um, with your teammates. But I never got an altercation like that. But you know that things get heated. And... I know people keep trying to compare the, the Steve Kerr and Jordan thing the same. It's not. It's not. But it happens. It happens and some people become friends and some people don't. Now, with Draymond, you the vet. And you Jordan Poole's vet. You got to do better, man. I understand that it's, it's tough because you got Wiggins and him basically taking your money away and you basically getting kicked out the door and you built this dynasty of the Warriors because you the heart and soul, the glue, the motor for this team. That was just not a smart move to sucker punch, dude. But Jordan Poole should have knew you put his hands on somebody, what the fuck you think was what you what you think was gonna happen. So I think both of them was wrong. Draymond was wrong because he's the vet. He's older and stuff. But we don't know what was said. We don't know what happened. We don't know what happened. So we're just going off of what we see. We don't know what was said with to Draymond Green, to Jordan Poole for them to react to each other. Um that wasn't cool at all. And Draymond, you might have just sealed yourself uh and getting ready to go to another team because I don't know if the Warriors can deal with your antics. You've been costing them games and doing stupid shit because you can't keep your mouth shut or you always get you let the emotions get the best of you. Like it's one thing in the NBA finals or playoff game. You gotta check that shit. You check your you check that shit right there because you know that it can hurt the team. Just like with the Memphis where he got suspended or got ejected, you damn near cost your team the game. Now I know a lot of people are gonna keep talking about the twenty sixteen finals where he got suspended. I'm not trying to hear that shit. Because in game seven that motherfucker had the best game of his fucking life. And they were up. They could have still won. His one absent don't make anything because it still wasn't a fucking guarantee that the Warriors was going to win in game five before Brian and, and, and Kyrie took the fuck over. So I don't want to hear those excuses about no 2016 he cost us this and that. Bullshit. When he came back in game seven and dropped 30 some points and shot seven for seven from three and shot like over 50% from the field for the whole fucking game. His best game in his whole fucking career and the biggest game in his life. Shut the fuck up. I do not want to hear that shit. Stop giving that shit as an excuse. They fucking choked. They lost. 3-1. It's over. They were up 3-1. They lost. It's. I don't care. It's over. But 
he costs his team too much. And Golden State could be looking like, yeah, man, you're doing too much. We're not about to pay you. Like I said, Jordan Poole and Draymond Green are fighting for contract extensions. That's why it's so important. That's why they're going back and back at it. I don't know if you can replace Draymond Green, but you can replace Jordan Poole. All he brings is scoring. That is it. You're not going to find some. It's going to be hard to find somebody to fit in there, be tough, put somebody on their ass, run the offense, and play defense the way that he do. Now, I know his offense is boo-boo and ass, but that's not what the fuck he's there for. And if you know anything about Draymond Green, he was never an offensive player ever, even in Michigan State. The motherfucker average, I don't know, like, I think it was something, it was like a, the shop episode where he said he had like 127 points, 100 some some. So him averaging a triple single, that was his college life, period. Like, that was what he was. He always averaged single digits in anything because he was just the plug guy to do everything else. You understand? So, I just think that. They might let him go, not trying to pay him that money because he's not taking a pay cut. He already just said it. It was a sucker move. He got to do better. But we, once again, we don't know what Jordan Poole said to piss him off because he walked to the side and then he pulled up on him and got in his face. Now, from the video, I don't know. I can't tell if Jordan Poole said something. I'm going to try to have the video down in the link below if you can't find it hopefully it don't get deleted whatever whatever so for those who don't didn't see it i have it in the link in the description below so it was a sucker move he got to do better he just costed himself probably a lot with the golden state and i know he recently apologized and said he's gonna take a few days away from the team which basically he probably gonna be back season opener but Golden State is on the clock. I don't know what they're doing. Then what I'm saying with Jordan Poole, I don't know if he feel comfortable about being there now. You know what I'm saying? It's kind of like the Kevin Durant situation where Kevin Durant had to step. Now you see Draymond Green is being a big fucking problem. And this is what I'm saying. Golden State got to be looking like, dude, you cost us championships. You costed us KD. Now you about to cause us another young star. Or not young star, but young player that got potential in Jordan Poole. So they got to be looking at that. He might as well kiss that, that, that max contract goodbye. Because I know he won four years maximum contract. So he might have just kissed that shit away. But then now, if not, if they do keep him, Jordan Poole going to want to be gone. So... They got a big dilemma. This is a big fucking deal. I don't like how Draymond handled it. You could have handled that shit another time, whatever. But, hey, emotions get the best of you. I'm a hothead, especially when it comes to the court. I'm trying not to be biased, but sometimes you just got to be smart. But anybody know about basketball and having teammates, shit like that happens. Not putting your hands on each other, but getting to altercations. But that's just my thoughts on it. But tell me what y'all think, and I'll see y'all in the next video.